Today we're going to talk about a mysterious man, one of the strongest people on the planet, who doesn't show his face. His name is Tom Havilland. Tom, according to Joe Rogan, he said he's the most freakish physique ever. This guy is six foot eight. He's on a quest to be 400 pounds with abs, and he is well on the way. He's a guy from Queensland. He just trains with his his back to the camera, Joe's training systems, and the stuff that this guy can do is mental. So what I thought would be fun, I'm going to defend my title in Myrtle Beach in a couple of months' time. I want to do, if Tom Haviland showed up and he does what he's shown on Instagram, could Tom Haviland actually be the world's strongest man? We're going to go lift by lift. Stay tuned to find out. So first of all, I'm not going to talk about how, but I have a somewhat close personal connection related to Tom Haviland. So if you want to see me and Tom collab, it's never been done before. I think the odds are pretty slim. But go ahead and pop that in the comments because I think that would be a blast. I would love to learn a little bit about what has made him so damn strong. He's with Jeho Strong. He says Josh Bryant, who started Jeho Strong, he says he's the best strength coach in the world. And he also says it's a distant second. When we've got guys like my guy, Lawrence Chalet, who has multiple World Strongest Man competitors, multiple world champions. We've got guys like Sebastian Orem, who's coached Thor to be the strongest person of all time. We've got uh, Westside Barbell, Louis Simmons. We've got Elite FTS. We've got so many people who have their training systems. And Tom says it's number one. I would love also, if you guys want to pop in the comments, who do you think is the number one strength coach in the world? And what's your rationale for that? Now, when it comes to evaluating who the best coach of all time is, you can go experience, you can go education, uh, you can go empirical results. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to have quite a bit of that. With going to World's Strongest Man, I have the experience with having my master's degree in clinical exercise physiology. I have the education. And if you want to get strong like me and Tom, I've got strongman programs. Strongman off-season can be done at a commercial gym. It's out there for anyone who just wants to become the all-round strongest version of themselves. Link is in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Tom grew up in a small town in New South Wales. This is all stuff that he told the Daily Mail, all stuff out of his mouth. Small town in the mid-north coast of New South Wales, which is actually where the people that I know are uh, that are his family. So beautiful area. He said he grew up in the bush, really simple, outside. And I think he got into strength training initially for the same reasons that a lot of strong men do, which is they just had logs and stones and a whole bunch of random implements hanging around. You want to see if you can lift them. This progressed and he ended up doing um, a whole bunch of different sports, not dissimilar to myself and not dissimilar to a lot of top strength athletes who went broad before they went specific. I think that's great advice for anyone who's younger looking to be strong. Don't, spe don't become specialized too early. Now, he loved basketball, and at six foot eight, you can imagine why. He wanted to use strength training as a means to increase his athletic ability. And obviously, strength training has incredible applications for uh, every sport, really. Um, it just depends on how you do it. And I think strongman training actually has the most carryover to athletic performance compared to any other form of strength training. When we're talking about odd objects, when we're talking about um, obscure objects, random grips, we're training everything from head to toe just like you would have to, to prepare for a sport. Now, of course, I played various sports growing up and I actually didn't really have any strength athletes as my idols, but I did have the fittest in every sport as my idol. I had Tiger Woods in golf and he was probably one of the first golfers to popularize strength training and out of, out of sport training for golf. I loved LeBron James, who a lot of his career is built on being an absolute physical anomaly, not just a great basketball player. And Whilst I didn't have a direct influence in why that got me into strength training, I'd be naive to think that it didn't have a really strong influence. The one person that I did have strong feelings towards is Arnold. Now, my mom was actually cleaning up my childhood bedroom and she found the Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding by Arnold. And I have sticky notes in there on pages with workouts labeled four different body parts. I might actually have a video going through what I was doing back when I was 16, 17. Uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know. No. Let's get to the actual best lifts of Tom Haviland and let's see how I might stack up. And this is just cherry picking some of his best lifts. The thing about him is he's done things across the board. He's not just a great deadlifter, or bench presser or strong grip. I've seen him do everything and I can't pick out one thing that he can't do really well. So he walked with a 1200 pound yoke in his shoulders. I've done more than that. I've gone up to 1350. That being said, if you look at the equipment he trains on, it is not spec it is dodgy as hell i'm sure if he was on more stable kit these numbers would be even higher so i think i would still get him on the yoke 
He's done 235 pound bicep curls. And Project Bicep, it went relatively well. I think we're getting better. I sure as hell could tell you there's no way I'm curling anywhere close to 235. He does a lot of zerchers. He's done a 626 pound zercher carry, two sets of 30 seconds for continuous walking. This is basically a Conan's wheel for context. Uh, the world's weight of the Conan's wheel is 200 kilos, about 440 pounds. We've gone up to 500 pounds in a zercher. This is another 100 and some odd pounds on top of that. Could I walk continuously for 30 seconds holding that? I'm gonna call that a big 50-50. Now he does zerchers with either an axle or a barbell. That's a little bit easier than the big zercher implement. I'm basically gonna call this one a draw. Not only has he done a 275 pound of stone to shoulder, but he put it up on his shoulder, walked five steps, did a set of squats, moved it to his other shoulder, did another set of five steps and did squats. I don't know how that would feel, 275 pounds. I find it hard just to stabilize standing, never mind squatting. I'm not sure what that would look like for me, but at 120 kilos, 125 kilos, I think that would be manageable for me. Again, I think we're gonna call this a draw. He's done a 926 pound deadlift. This is no suit. This is no fancy deadlift bar. This is just straight lifting. This would be very close to what I'd be capable of on a good day. Pounds, 445 kilos to put himself in the lead. Gormich, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And he has it. Lift. Nine, oh, eight, one for Mitch Hooper. Again, I think this is a better draw. Next up with squats. Now the best I've ever done is 800 pounds, a little over 810, 815 for a double high bar in sleeves. Tom has done 692 pounds for multiple reps, which is something that I would also do for multiple reps. I'm thinking that's probably close to a draw. And lastly, he's done a clean dessert catch with a squat, 300 pounds, 396, 485. I could not clean 485 pounds, definitely not. And that is absolutely berserk. I think he would get me on that one. He's got other numbers related to his grip. He's got head to toe strengths. I can't pick out a thing where I go like, he's not even close. So we line up pretty damn well. If Tom Havilland came to World's Strongest Man, if he had a little bit of training behind him, I don't think he would just contend for the finals. I think he would contend for the podium. And I think he could win World's Strongest Man if he committed to Strongman. Let me know. Let me know what you know about Tom Havilland. Let me know if you think we should collab. And if he turned up at World's Strongest Man, do you think he would be capable of winning the title as the least experienced, organized strongman ever. Tom, if you ever see this, you are a legend. You are one of the strongest people on the planet. And hats off to you for sticking to your thing, for just head down, grinding, in your home gym, in the forest, uh, doing your thing. That's badass, huge respect. Everyone else, lift heavy, be kind. Don't forget to treat someone nicely. And in the comments, let us know how you've done that, how you've let someone feel welcome in the gym. Lift up and be kind. We'll catch you in the next video.